This is continuing coverage in the trial of Alex Murdoch from True Crime Today. Welcome back to our continuing coverage. I'm Tony Bruschi. The jury in the Murdoch murder trial will have the opportunity to visit the crime scene in South Carolina, as instructed by Judge Clifton Newman. The visit, which is expected to take place Wednesday morning, will give the jurors a first-hand look at the location where Maggie and Paul were murdered. The visit could potentially have a significant impact on the outcome of the trial and provide the jury with a unique perspective of the events that took place. Take a listen to Judge Clifton Newman's instructions to the jury. Okay, very good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have now, you have now heard all of the testimony and received all of the evidence in the case. Uh, and we are essentially done for the day. But um, when you return tomorrow morning, we're going to um, have the, an escort take you all to the um, subject property, Moselle, to, to have a view, a jury view of the location. Um, and I, I will be there as well to ensure things go as they should. Um, but I need to instruct you as to how it happens um, and give you this instructions. And that is that you'll be taken to the scene of the alleged crimes. And while you are on your way to the scene and from the scene, uh, you are not allowed to discuss the case with anyone including your fellow jurors, and you're not allowed while there to ask any questions of anyone who may be there, including any law enforcement personnel um, or any other court officials. If you have any questions, you can only ask me. Um, you're still, you still have not heard closing arguments and have not begun deliberating. So the way, the way tomorrow is expected to go, you will come, you have the jury view. After the jury view, you'll return uh, for closing arguments. Uh, then I will instruct you as to the law that you are to apply. Then you will deliberate in an effort to reach a verdict. Uh, but it's absolutely essential that you understand that you're being taken there to view the scene. Uh, now, it has been um, a year and a half or more uh, since June 7th of 2021, since the uh, alleged crime occurred, and uh, things have change or most likely have changed. We have different season of the year, just change of circumstances as far as the property is concerned. Uh, so uh, you have to take that in mind and certainly consider that, but still it's the same location. And if, uh, I've determined that it would be beneficial uh, to you to be able to observe the scene that everyone has been talking about. And we'll do that tomorrow morning. Uh, so I want you we'll prepare to leave now. I'm going to uh, have you go back to the jury room and the, you know, talk with the bailiff for a moment, and then you all will be dismissed for the day. And I'll instruct the uh, personnel to uh, take you directly to the scene at the designated time tomorrow morning, which will be uh, 930 um, do you all get here before 9.30, like 9 o'clock? Um, so we'll, we'll say 9.30, but, it may, but you may leave before 9.30 since apparently you all get here pretty early. Um, so we'll see how that works tomorrow morning. Uh, so if you'll go to the jury, jury room now and, and we'll prepare to dismiss for today and we'll see you all after the view, after the view tomorrow morning. So if you go to the jury room.
Okay, uh, as I stated, the scene will be secure um, and the uh, law enforcement will ensure that uh, no one is there to distract or to interfere with the jury view. I'm going to administer an oath to the um, people who will be transporting the jury, um, bailiffs, deputies, whoever they are. Uh, Danny Gregory, if you all will come forward now, Danny Gregory... Reuben Carter, Bill Polk, and Taylor Flynn. All right, Phil, I'm going to give you all an oath. If you all will come and stand, and I'll administer the, the, the oath to you. <clears throat> all right, and if you first just state your names. Reuben Carter. Taylor Flynn. Daniel Gregory. Bill Polk. All right, if you all raise your right hands, please. Do you swear that you will keep the jurors during the time you escort them to the property uh, on Moselle or at Moselle and you'll return them to the jury room and that you will now allow no person to speak to them, including yourself, while you have them in your custody unless the court otherwise gives you permission? If you accept that oath, please say I do. I do. All right. Thank you very much. And uh, as I've said to the jury, the plan is to, uh, since I've told them now about the jury view, is that when they meet in the morning, uh, I intend to go and maybe the clerk or one or two of the court folks, um, but we'll go there prior to the jurors, prior to them coming here. Um, so any questions about anything? Okay. Very good. And um, and Mr. Pope, I'm going to speak to you for just a second. To you for a second. I think it's just Mr. Pope, right? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to meet with the lawyers and, and discuss uh, jury charges. Uh, anything else before we adjourn for the day? After the check, Your Honor. Stay, Your Honor. All right, very well. We're in adjournment. Let's see. Now, I want to say adjourn until 9.30, but we'll have the jury view at 9.30. We need the court reporters, if you all stand by. We're going to adjourn until 10.30. We're not, we're not adjourning. We're going to discuss jury charges. I guess what I'm saying is if we go out there and, I mean, I understand we're allowed to go out there and watch the jury because right. they look at things and yes. not speak with them. Um, you think they'll be back here by what time? I'm thinking 10.30. They're going to leave here at 9.30? Maybe before 9.30. We're going to figure all that out. But I'm, we may not be back exactly at 10.30, but we're going to shoot for 10.30. It may be 11 o'clock. Yes, sir. I Maybe 11.30. Well, we'll be well, out there. 11 o'clock. How about that? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You know. <laughs> it's whenever we get back, really. If I'm at Moselle with the jurors and we're, and they're not, it takes 25 minutes to get there. They're going to be probably there for an hour, 25 minutes. So that's about two hours total. I just didn't want to have to. We'll say um, 11 o'clock. That'd be great. Thank 11 o'clock. And we'll we'll be in a German until we. And you're talking about arguing when they get back, arguing and charging tomorrow. Yes, argue, charge, deliberation tomorrow. Right. Yeah. All righty then. All right. Very good. And whether we deliberate will depend upon what time argument ends. That's the latest that we have for you right now. Be sure to press subscribe wherever you download podcasts so you don't miss any breaking updates and discussions on the case as we have them for you right here. I'm Tony Bruschi. Stay with us.